question 19, write in the two missing digits. Now this one's actually a lot easier than it looks. We've got a two digit number ending in zero multiplied by another two digit number ending in zero, giving an answer of 3000, which is a three ending in three zeros. Now, if we think about this, whenever we multiply numbers that have got zeros in the question, we always put those zeros back on at the end of the answer. So we've got a zero here and a zero here. That's two zeros so far in the question. So those two zeros will match up with these two zeros in the answer, leaving us just with 30 at the start. Now all we need to do is make our two tens digits in the question multiply together to make 30. So how do we make 30? We can either have five times six or six times five. We could have 2 times 15, we could have 3 times 10, but 15 and 10 are two digit numbers and we've only, we can only put one digit in there and one digit in there. So we're gonna, so that's going to be no use, we're going to have to go with a 5 times a 6. So we can either make this 50 times 60 or we could have had 60 times 50. Let's just double check that we do indeed get 3000. 5 times 6 is 30 and we've got the two zeros on the end which is here and here therefore 50 times 60 is 3000 and it works the same the other way around. 6 times 5 is 30 then we've got the two zeros again which are here. So whichever way you do it that's the answer. 50 times 60.